So that's the uh, the board for the moment, and the next thing we'll do is uh, we'll end up writing a bit of code, uh, make the LED flash. Okay, so we're here in Freescale Code Warrior, uh, the uh, IDE from Freescale, and um, this is uh, Code Warrior for Microcontroller 6.1. I know 6.2 is out and probably by the time I install that they'll be bringing out 6.3. Uh, we're going to create a new project and uh, it's from the um, SO8 group, the uh, Q family and the chip is the QG8 and we're going to connect to it using the P&E multi-link. I'm going to write in C. Uh, we're going to find an appropriate directory for this uh, QG8 but it won't be under project, it'll be uh, we'll just call it hello world LED and it's asking us if we want to add any other files and we're asking it to create the main.c file we're going to use the device initialization um, but uh, we're not going to use the processor expert we'll use ANSI startup code, the small memory model and we won't worry about any float options we're not using PC lint Okay, tip of the day, close that. Now, for what we're doing, uh, we shouldn't have to change anything in the uh, clock settings from device initialization. Uh, this should be all set uh, to default values. So the internal oscillator is set to 31.25 kilohertz. Uh, internal bus clock is at 4, and the output clock is at 16 megahertz. So that's the FLL multiplying those frequencies up for us so nothing to do in there um, on on our board that uh, I've made the LED is active high and it's coming out on um, PTB5 port B pin 5 uh, so we'll set that up, we'll go into the uh, port B module um, we'll uh, view this as individual pins and we'll enable pin 5 we'll make that an output uh, the initial, you can change this from decimal to hex or binary, the initial output um, it, it doesn't matter because this is going to be either a 0 or 1 in this box and uh, our initial output uh, value is 0 uh, no pull resistor but we'll change um, the drive strength to high and OK that and we're also going to use the modulo timer so I'll go into uh, to this module and uh, we're going to use the modulo timer to uh, create a delay between toggling the LED on and off uh, I'll just go into the prescaler and change that to 256 now with the clock source as bus clock um, it's still pretty fast so we're going to change that to uh, the fixed frequency clock and you can see that's now slowed down to uh, around 4 seconds um, and uh, the modulo register value uh, here as you can see uh, ranges from 0 to 255 and we're going to change this to um, I'm going to say about maybe 70 alright that's 1.1 we'll take that back down to 60 that's a bit closer to 1 second and um, interrupts we're going to enable the interrupt and we're going to enable the modulo timer module and that should be all we have to do in here alright now nothing actually happens with any of those options until we click on the generated code and the generated module name is MCU init and uh, that's put it in here in the generated code and this is the file that is generated for us MCU init.c and you can see in here um, so this is a this is a function 
and a whole bunch of the initialization stuff has been put in here so here's our options uh, that have been added for port B and for the modulo timer and coming down a bit further here's our code space for the uh, modulo timer interrupt and uh, here's the interrupt vector list and that's where the uh, the modulo timer uh, sits at that address uh, so in main.c I'll just show you where that uh, gets called so uh, here's the forever loop in in main and uh, before th that uh, loop where you put all your other code in we're, we're not going to put anything in here but I'm just showing you here's where MCU and it gets called from the main loop and that only gets called once before it goes into the forever loop um, back in MCU and NIT, we're going to put some code here, and if you can't remember the names of things, you can always go into the, the include file, the header file for the chip, um, to find out those names. So, uh, the first thing we have to do in this interrupt is uh, clear the flag, and um, if you have a look at the data sheet, it actually says uh, to read the status and control register, and then set the uh, timer overflow flag to zero. Um, with the way these registers are set up we can just take that and um, set that to zero that's a a, a read uh, modify write so we are reading the uh, the status and uh, setting the bit and uh, so that's cleared that's kind of the business end of um, stuff for this particular interrupt but now we're going to put in our specific code and remember it's port B uh, pin 5 and we'll just go back into here to make sure of uh, the name of that and oops uh, it's going to be at the PTB alright so here's the bits PTBD and port B data bit 5 and we're going to exclusive or itself with one and that'll make it toggle every time it comes into this interrupt and I've got the board connected uh, so now we can do a debug on it and if I've connected everything up okay this will go through okay yep it's asking us if we want to erase the flash and then program we do okay and uh, now we'll go to reset and go and there's the board with the LED flashing on and off so there's a quick hello world for a uh, Freescale MC9SO8QG8 thanks for watching